All right, this is going to be a short video because it's about the picks that Stevie Ray Vaughan used. Um, and we know pretty well for a fact what kind of picks that he used. That's why it's going to be a short video. So Stevie ordered his picks, um, you know, when he was on tour, this is, this is before, um, this is after he became famous. So Stevie or Stevie's roadie, I should say, or his, you know, his, his buddies ordered custom picks. Here's a picture of a good collection of them right here. And the picks they ordered and he used were Fender Medium. So Stevie used a Fender Medium pick that was custom made for him with his name on it, Stevie Ray Vaughan. He also had picks, you know, laying around that, uh, you know, were just plain picks like these right here some from guitar shops he would visit, uh, whatever. This Fender Blue one right here. You can still get that Fender Blue one. Got one right here. This is the one I use when I want to imitate Stevie right here. Um, so you can buy the Fender Blue one. You can buy the, the Fender, you know, kind of, what do they call this? I don't know, tortoise shell or whatever. You know, he has plain picks. He has, you know, Charlie's Guitar Shop picks. Just, they're a Fender Medium. I have heard also that he used, uh, you know, a heavy pick every now and then. But he just ordered these Fender Mediums. And one thing about Stevie and his pick, which I'm going to have a video specifically about his picking technique, okay? And this video is about the picks he used, not his technique. But I can tell you this right now, he used the, the blunt side, the round side, the bigger side of the pick, which is evidenced right here from, you know, it being worn off. So he, he didn't use the tip of the pick like most people would. He used this side of it. And he also used a, a interesting picking technique, which I'll demonstrate in a later video. Um, for his right hand to show what his right hand did on the guitar or to the guitar, however you want to look at it. Um, so, yeah, Stevie used a medium, Fender medium pick, and he used the, uh, the rounded, the big fat corner of it right here. Um, now, if you, I mean, it's been 30 years since, since Stevie passed, so, I mean, you know, there've been a lot of picks that have come out. And if you're trying to get a Stevie Ray Vaughan tone, okay, you might not have his technique. So you can make up for that, or you can help your own technique to sound the way you want it to by experimenting with picks. It will change your sound a little bit, not a lot, but let's say for instance, if you don't have the strong attack of Stevie getting a heavier pick, might help your attack get stronger because the pick is hitting the string with more force because it's a heavier pick. It doesn't bend. So using a heavier pick may, you know, get you a, a, a certain tone, uh, you know, here's a pick, uh, you know, called a, a V picks, Vix picks, you know, they're made out of acrylic. You know, they're very interesting picks. I don't have any, but I've heard them. A friend of mine's used them. He says they they get a really great sound. So one of these little fat, you know, picks made out of acrylic might just get you a clack or get you a pop or get you a, you know, a, a, a tone on your string that you want. You know, yeah, Stevie used mediums. We know that for a fact. But if your sound using this pick gets you where you want it to be, 
you know, that's good. I mean, I love these old text picks. I think these sound great. You know, I think these sound fantastic. You know, keep you a, keep you a, here's my old text pick. Keep you a, a bunch of picks around. Here's an Adamus graphite pick. This is made out of graphite. It's a two millimeter pick. Sounds fantastic on a guitar, especially on an acoustic. On an acoustic guitar, this one sounds fantastic. Um, here's a Fender Heavy. And just keep you, just keep you a bunch of picks around. And, um, especially if you do a lot of recording, you know, you might want a different sound on a passage and a recording and you know, a pick might get you that in studio, you know, but find a, find a pick that you're comfortable with and a pick shape that you're comfortable with. Stevie played with this edge of the pick, but you might not want to, and that's okay. You know, I love these little jazz uh, three picks. I used to play with these all the time. I still have quite a few of them around. Um, Probably right here. I probably have one. Here's a little jazz shape pick. I really love. Uh, here's another one, a black one, Jim Dunlop. Little jazz pick. I love the shape of those because you can really dig into the, to the string with them. So, you know, you might want this bigger pick. You might like this bigger pick. This might help you get the tone that you want. So, you know, I also love Tortex picks. I think Tortex picks sound fantastic. Um, look at this big fat pick. You might like this style. Look, and that kind of has the rounded edge that, 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 that Stevie played with. So, you know, experiment. Go with the lighter pick. Go with the medium pick. Get a heavy pick. Get a super heavy pick. Get a jazz pick. Get a nylon pick. Get a graphite pick. Get, a, get an acrylic pick. Get all kinds of them. And then that way you can, you can, you can settle on the one that's right for you that gets you the sound that you want, which may be, you know, the pick may help you get a tone like Stevie just from the material itself, kind of helping with your picking style to make your sound jump out or create a sound that you want to create. Um, so get a, get a bunch of picks. And, and experiment with them but just for the record uh stevie ray vaughn did use fender medium picks <laughs>